Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 48 of House 3 of the Drifter Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And it's very, very early on Tuesday morning, and I don't know if Abraham slept, I'm not sure when he's awake, but everybody else is sleeping except for, of course, Charity, who never sleeps, and, and our kitty cat Dollish sleeps whenever he wants. You know, as is the norm for cats. <laughs> so... I thought I would start a little bit before 5 a.m. because the trees are ready here. So we're going to super sell so that everything gets sold. And then it has the ability to hopefully if she gets there before 5 a.m. I'm just seeing how many it says there's seven on the tree. For some reason, I thought they only ever did five, but it's good. It's seven. It's even better. But uh, so she's going to sell that. We'll see whether she gets that done before. The main things being is the uh, money tree that I wanted her to do it. And let's see. So this is, I wonder whether there was anything on there since I have had her sell everything. If there was a perfect money fruit on there. And there we go. She has gone into a labor. So she, uh, I figured that was going to happen around this time. But if we wait like two hours, it's going to be about 6.30. So there's a chance she may get to the hospital and back before the girls need to go to school. It'll be tight. I just don't like to go, as I have said many times, too early. Because I find that they... Um, <laughs> Poor girl. That it tends to be a bit glitchy at the hospital if you go too early, or that's been my experience oftentimes. So I just prefer not to because then I do a lot of traveling back and forth. <laughs> so she did paint a masterpiece. It's 5,763 simoleons. We're going to sell that. That may start her on her, her, or we'll probably get the message that that's her, her road to fame, or maybe she already got that and I didn't remember. I don't know why he's flirty. Interesting. She's definitely not flirty. She does want to flirt with uh, Abraham. And she's going to go clean that. She was going to go clean that earlier. but uh, And I thought I would hire the nanny. Even though the nanny doesn't actually stay when you leave the lot. I like the sort of idea of the nanny staying. When on oh, there she got a little bit of glimmer of uh, green. And then she is now has a great reputation in terms of her reputation. Because doing the volunteering with the kids has helps you with your reputation quite a lot. So I think the nanny made that. Yes, we'll put that in the fridge. This is broken. She, I wouldn't have thought she could repair it when she was in labor, but it's letting her. So we'll see whether she does that. May as well be productive while we're waiting for her. And it is, I meant I was going to have her make a cake, but she was actually, because she, she, she went out volunteering with the girls and they both came home with their empathy in their, um, she could go to the bathroom, in the range there. And I think she did some teaching of conflict resolution. And I started working on, on Dora a little bit with her, I think I, or maybe I was going to work on the manners, but I think she was tired and went to bed, and so I wasn't able to. So we have a few extra days, because they don't age up till the weekend. So, but I'll probably do that a little bit off camera, because you don't need to see. You've seen it before, so you probably don't need to see it again. And you know what? I'm going to pin this start a club gathering, because at some point we are going to start a club gathering, and so she'll be able to get that. Now, she is hungry and dirty and luckily the laundry the machine is fixed i don't know where the parts to that you know the when you have that so really that's it so we're doing a countdown see how much time two hours so i'm just gonna go fast and hopefully everybody will look after themselves she can't really do very much anyways because she's in labor and i'm just waiting for it to be oh better pause <laughs> That time went by. When I go fast super speed, it goes by really quickly. So I'm going to take her to the hospital. I am going to take Abraham with her, though he looks like he's tired, but oh well. So I will be back when she gets to the hospital. Well, it's go time. I end up, uh, tried once to come and the doctor wasn't here, but this time the doctor is here. So we should be able to get this underway. And the girls did go to school on their own. I don't know why. He's at daycare and he's at daycare, but they have different symbols down there below. I'm not really sure why. So this is 
Pregnancy number four. We'll get a picture. So we will see what we have. I'm gonna go a little bit faster so that hopefully she has this baby quicker. And Abraham, I assume, is doing something. They, they, like I said, it's quite a bit later, as you can see. And we had another girl. And her name is going to be Dillis. Dillis Driver. So we're the D generation, so everything's got DDs for their name. And let's see whether... Oops, let me slow this down a little bit, because I want to get a picture. Though they all look the same. The only difference is sometimes their outfit is different. It's hard to tell. It's a close-up. And I'll hit um, play again. See if I get a better picture. Different picture, maybe. There. Oh, he looks sad. She looks sad. She's crying. <laughs> She's not very happy. And there's a mirror, windows through there, so we can see from that direction. So they've returned from daycare, have they? Oh, that must have been because we. Uh, <laughs> I had to go home. So. I'll be back when she gets back home. So we're back. I assume this baby is going to be crying any moment now, but I thought we would try, since Dollish was out here, we'd try and do something with him before we go in. Because I did notice that, um, what was this that I can't do? You can't do this while a Sim is having a baby. Well, I don't know what it was that I was trying to do while the Sim was having a baby that I wasn't able to do, but... Oh well, and Abraham, oh he had to work today, I didn't realize. Like, did he work at 10? Or did he work, oh he's tired, poor guy. And he did work at 10. He just managed to get home just in time. Oh no, 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 you're not allowed to go to work. <laughs> okay, well hopefully it's not a disaster. <laughs> Is the nanny here? <laughs> right, she got the call to go to work. Probably while she was at the hospital and I would have completely missed it. So, well, we're going to quickly go through the day. If anything happens while she's at work, I'll probably bring her home if anything happens. I'll keep an eye. Let me see. He needs, uh, he's upset. He's a bit hungry, so hopefully the nanny makes some food. And if not, I'll grab some food from the fridge. But, uh, and let's see. Luckily, Dirk is perfect. He's in perfect shape. And poor little Dean is sad. I really didn't want her to go to work. She needs to make a cake for Abraham and for, for Dean for their birthday. Oh, and the nanny has to look after the baby. I hope the nanny does a good job looking after the baby. I might be just bringing her home. But uh, I'll let you know at the end of the day <laughs> that's whether or not that's what I do. And he's going to sleep. So I'll be back. Well, I see that we have Dillis is very hungry. So I'll be back. I said I'd be back, but I decided she's uh, she may she's coming home. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. She doesn't have her requirements for getting her promotion, anyways. And she, I mean, she would have got paid if she went to work because they usually get paid when they go to work, but they don't get paid at all at home. So it's a kind of a silly job. So, but she needs to come home. The nanny doesn't seem to be doing very much with the baby. <sighs> and we got a pop up for Abraham, and we're gonna ignore the complaints. <laughs> And uh, it was, can't please anybody, so the uh, sales exceeded by 35%. Okay, so hopefully she gets home, because she's supposed to get home. So now you're going to come over here, and you're going to feed the baby. Oh, she even got paid. She got paid more. <laughs> she got paid more by going for that hour or so um, than she did normally. So let's come. So I think we should be fine now that she's home, but I will, uh, I'm going to have her make... Uh, the cake that I wanted her to make, I, like I said, I really didn't actually want her to be at work today anyways. The whole idea was for her to stay home, and it's something's dirty, so we'll have to check that out. And I am going to have her make the cake and be back later in the day. Well, it's the end of the day, the school day, I should say, and of course Abraham's work day. And as you would have seen, I had Charity come home. I'm going to put these walls back in cutaway. I had taken pictures, so I put them up. I'm going to just quickly do a super efficient baby care on Dillis because, oh, there's clothes here. Where should we put those clothes? I'm not sure why they are there because it's not really that full. So maybe I'll search pockets and do laundry. Oh, we can't. Is it broken? I think it's broken. 
because it's not saying there's anything in it. It just says add laundry additive, but we can't seem to add it to the uh, washing machine. Oh, they're clean. <laughs> okay, so she made some cake. Say she made two cakes for the party that I would like to have, and everybody is here. But I'm just gonna do my usual. I'm going to do a dinner party because I don't seem to have a lot of luck with. Can we now add it to the washing machine? They're clean. We'll we'll add to the dryer. Somehow I think there were clean clothes that end up on the floor, and I just assumed they were dirty. So I stuck them in the wash, <laughs> but turns out they weren't dirty. They were just wet and ended up on the floor. Maybe that was from when the washing machine was, uh, the dryer broke. So, um, let's actually put her over onto her family super parent aspiration and see about, um, we can teach about responsibility. She doesn't really need it because I think she's already. So we're going to encourage good grades for both of the girls because that also helps them with their responsibility too if you encourage good grades. But I don't think too encouraging is going to go or get her into full parent mode. <laughs> and actually, while we're here, why don't we work on Dora's manners? I actually, I did have her work on. That was what I had her work on, but it didn't seem to make much of an impact because her manners are a little bit in the red. And... Um, but I'd like her to age up. Not that we have to worry about it, but I'm just going to have her do this quickly. And is uh, Abraham having a nap? Because, you know, you're tired, Abraham. You should really go have a sleep. The needs are not very good. <laughs> I'm sorry, Abraham, but the house is full. No trying for babies <laughs> anymore. You want to buy to buy a bill and blocks? We can we can do that one. I guess he is family oriented. <laughs> we have we have one toddler about to age up, but the other one is gonna you know soon be uh, the other. We're gonna have another toddler soon enough. So uh, maybe we'll let them have. He'll have a sleep before we have this party. So did you finish with this? Let's see. We're going to for parenting, encourage, learning, please and thank you. So she doesn't seem to like learning her please and thank you. <laughs> so what we're going to do, since we can't teach it to her because she's done for now with learning that, we're going to teach to say sorry even though her, her conflict resolution is in better shape. And though there's our mom. There's our mom out there. We'll be inviting her over soon anyways. So the other benefit of doing these teachings is that I think they both work on their social, the uh, manners and the conflict resolution. Doesn't teach them anything as toddlers and I don't find they ever learn anything either. I've never had much luck. I kind of give up. <laughs> um, so we're going to do one more of these. Oh, and it looks like little Dirk is about to go lay down, but that's all right. Did he have to use his diaper? I think he must have. Sorry, kiddo. So because she has this uh, good reputation, she's got a job offer from Get Famous. But it's not from fame, it's from your reputation. So she has an opportunity to be a astronaut and she can start at level 5 of the job. I'm going to decline the job offer because, you know, at this stage in her life, she's more about being home with her little kids and it doesn't actually work very well for her to get this type of career. If it had been something else, Maybe, but not this. Like painting or writing, because I want her to work on writing anyways. But we'll just keep with our our gardening. We don't need money anyway. She doesn't need to have a job at all. She's got 400000 And it was funny how she made more money coming home early than when she stays home from work. But I'm going to decline the job offer. And I think we're going to have to wake this little one up. And uh, we'll let him sleep a little bit. And then we'll wake him up and change his diaper. Because he went in his diaper. Oh, Dean is hungry. Dean is hungry? Oh my goodness, he is really hungry. He's going to grab that silly thing from his inventory, as he always does. Okay, can we put this in here? Will Dean grab it if it's in here? Or do we need to put it out here? Will he be more likely to grab it there? Okay, I think you're going to stop. You're going to pick up a serving for Dean in case he doesn't come get it himself. And hopefully we don't mess things up for Dean. Nope, nope, you don't, you don't need to do that. He's grabbing his own food. 
I could see, I saw the thought bubble. So let's see, fingers crossed, he goes and gets his food. He did. Okay. I don't know who you are, but no, <laughs> not right now. Um, I'm going to start the party and I'll be back when it started. So I decided to go for a birthday party. I was originally going to have a dinner party because I find, oh, she's in her hospital gown. <laughs> Maybe we should change that into something a little bit more appropriate, my girl. We'll do a party outfit. We'll do this one that looks more appropriately summery. So we are going to, um, should we blow out the part candles right away? Play instruments for an hour. Hmm, I wonder if we can encourage her to play an instrument. She was sitting there playing an instrument just like not that long ago. And Dean isn't hungry anymore. He had enough to eat. So we're going to influence two skill building. Nope, I can't. I can't influence her to play an instrument. <laughs> and I didn't bother hiring an entertainer because I'm pretty sure the last time I hired an entertainer, nobody came. So we may not have much luck with this party, I have to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to form a uh, group so that when she goes to make a drink, it's a lot easier. There's no point having the toddlers. I don't even know why he's, he must be in the neighborhood. And not everybody is in the party. So we're going to have her, first of all, make some drinks for everyone. And since there's kids involved, as usual, I'm going to make a nice uh, root beer float. So there we go. I don't even know how much drinking skill, <laughs> mixology skill she has. Uh, she may be the one playing the musical instrument if it comes to that and we need to do it. Uh, we need to socialize with the birthday sims. So let's come over here. And she actually, oh, she, she must have flirted already. She wants to buy a cat wand. So why don't we just do that? Because that's really easy to do. You just do that right from here. I'm pretty sure these are all, we'll just get a 15 simoleon one. And there we go. Easy 50, <laughs> easy 50 points. <laughs> this is a really easy way to get some points. So it was a squeaky toy. Uh, I think, is that a squeaky? squeaky toy well we don't have a dog so we won't do that this makes more sense a <laughs> cat toy <laughs> and uh she got another one now she wants to buy a drink fountain mm, probably we'll just leave it but we're done so she got her drink so is everybody drinking hopefully they all drink and abraham how are your needs you're having your drink you kind of got to go to the bathroom and I invited everybody that was in the family over that I could find because I couldn't find everybody. But you know what you're going to do? You're going to actually make some food because I don't know how much is in there anyways. So she's got to level five here of the gourmet cooking skill. Oh, and we're our father we invited and he is vegetarian. So we're going to do a spinach frittata. And I forgot to put the timer on. So hopefully this part isn't too long, but I would like to have it at least cover the party. So go over there, my dear, and go make... She is actually doing something. She's socializing with the birthday boy, which is part of what she needs to do. And he has to go to the bathroom, though. But I kind of want to get them aged up. Maybe we should age up little uh, Dean soon instead. Forget the food. Forget the food. <laughs> She'll do that later. First, let's get some of these goals done. I would like to not have a bronze party. <laughs> I would like to have a, um, we have this one actually. She already had a cake made, I didn't realize. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna have her uh, help blow out candles. We should probably age up Bridget while we're at it too so that she's not staying so young because she really should be. And Dean is the one who should be aging up. So I think I'll, if I get the chance, I'm going to help her also blow out her candles and age her up to a, uh, then I'll have to make a, do a makeover on her too, which I can't even move her into the house <laughs> to make her over. I have to make, have to do it from, uh, in her own house. So here we go. Unless I can do it with a closet. Yeah. Oh, almost forgot my picture. <laughs> There we go. We got a picture. Hey, cutie pie. And now I'm going to need to... We'll see what he looks like as a child. He 
got two, two, and two on all but mental, which he got to a one. So he's replacing his clingy trait. And I think I'm just going to stick with the mental because it's the one that we can kind of, you know, possibly encourage. But he is going to be, he's going to take after his grand his mom and his grandparents, other than one of his grandparents, but a lot of his grandparents, everybody's been active in the family. So probably I should, even though he's not going to be able to do it, I'll give him the motor one, even though he won't be able to do it. So there we go. There is our little Dean. Can't really see him with all the sparkles around him. There we go. Another one, another picture. Probably have to do a thingy with him. So come here and try and add some birthday candles even though we don't really need to because we have an extra cake in the fridge and then we're actually going to help age help blow out candles Bridget like I said I would like her to age up well Bella sent Dean a gift and I think we'll age up Cedric to a young adult when um the girls age up to teens just to keep them you know not <laughs> Because he should be older. <laughs> he was a child, though. He was quite a bit younger. So you're going to go over there. We're going to try and age up. I think there's going to be enough time to probably age up. Uh, hubby, Abraham. I knew he needed to be looked after, though. He kind of is tired. I almost toyed with going over and rallying the troops just because he was so tired. Oh, there's the Caprese salad. Oh, Dominique has reached level three. Oh, good. Keep playing there, my dear, because I would really like you to play instruments for an hour. Because <laughs> we need that for our party. See, I think when they get to a higher level, uh, there we go. So we're, we're trying to, Abraham. We're trying to celebrate your party. And if, if we don't, we'll just do your cake afterwards since you obviously have a little bit more time since we just got the notification. Oh, I'll get a picture too. Get a picture. I think this is going to be the reason why uh, Dominique is interested in becoming a scientist and exploring to find out where her her half aunt. I don't know how you call that. I guess she's a half. I don't know. Is she just an aunt? Because <laughs> she's a half sister. Yeah, and there she is. I'm going to have to dress her again. I really wish she would age up with the hair and the clothes and all that stuff instead of in those outfits. So... But anyway, so there we go. There's, there she is. And I'll have to, like I said, change her up a little bit. And then the other thing is we're going to just call. I'm going to put this over here and call to meal. There we go. And then we're going to get the special cake we made for Abraham out. So it would be good to at least age up Abraham before this part ends. <laughs> Even if we don't have a completed party. I can control him to age out his blood, his candles. That's the one thing. You can control them for blowing out candles and for claiming bads. There he is. The poor guy is so tired. Everybody's standing there. Let's get a picture. Three people blowing out candles. Is he going to get it the first time? Yes, he did. And he, Abraham, aged up. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. And there he is. He's now an adult. And we can call to meal with this, too. Maybe someone will eat some cake <laughs> so we can get that. Oh, we somehow got a gold. Oh, you know why? I betcha. It's because she started this party and she um, she has a great reputation. And here it says, they'll love having someone with your positive reputation away around. They'll reach out to you with various special opportunities via your phone, which we've had. And when you host a party, everyone will be thrilled to attend, which will help you achieve a gold level rewards during events. Great reputation can improve your life, love life. A romantic introductions have a great chance of starting off with heightened romance. So... It's, look at that. That be so makes it so much more easy to probably get the party aspiration done because getting these goals, like normally we would not be a gold at a gold already at this part point in the party when you have these many things left still to do. 
of course I have uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's, uh, it's oh we must have socialized for three hours but I am gonna leave this part here because I think it has actually gone on long enough and we already got our gold party they they're gonna do their own thing so uh, I uh, the next party is gonna be actually the next time we age someone up it's gonna be Dillis and then the next party is going to be for the girls. And like I said, I'm going to age up Cedric at the same time so that he becomes a teen. But that is going to be it for this part. We have a very full house. We have a full house in all sense of the words. We have actually eight, seven sims and a pet in the house. So it's a full household. And then we have everybody over for the party. So lots of people. But that is going to be it for this part. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!